There's no way to totally predict what your experience will be like at a job, whether it's at a large company or a small one. But there are some consistencies you may notice in people who work at a Fortune 500 company with tens to hundreds of thousands of employees versus a company with less than 100 employees. They each have their pros and their cons, and this video I'll talk about some of the things you can maybe expect. Large companies are the ones we usually know of, like Facebook, Google, Honda, Boeing, etc. These also often have some of the coolest looking projects that really make you want to work for them. Some of the pros of working at a large company include often higher pay and better benefits, like medical and dental to retirement accounts with matching, to overtime pay to paying for graduate school. Then there's the possibility of traveling more if that interests you. There are more locations so you aren't forced to live in one area. There's more opportunity for growth and that there are probably a lot of job positions between you and the top people at the company for you to make it through. There's lots of resources and people to learn from and go to for advice. Then you get to work on really big projects like rockets, satellites, cars, and so on, and say you were a part of that. Also, there are many ways your career can go while staying in one company. You can jump from working on hardware for aircrafts to missile defense systems, that is if you're qualified, and you can stay in the company for all of this. But there are cons as well. These include you may have less of the fun activities, especially in the beginning. You might not be doing the hardware programming, lab work, or design work, and so on. You might be doing less meaningful work that is more busy than challenging. This isn't always the case, but it does happen. You also don't get to know everyone as well. You get to know your team probably, but a lot of the people you walk by every day you may just not know at all. You're also often a very small part of your project. When you're working on a huge project, your contributions might be smaller or less noticeable, along with a lot of other people's, but together you all create something large. So don't expect to jump on a project where they ask you to design an aircraft that can go Mach 5 and is invisible to radar detection. You'll be much more zoomed in. Then small companies are often the ones you have to do some more research to find because they don't have dozens of locations. But remember, a lot of large companies buy things from smaller companies so they don't have to design them themselves. And at those smaller companies, you could do more of that design work. I've said in another video how if you want to work on cars, you might want to work at Honda. Well, Honda does not make everything that goes inside one of their vehicles. They have suppliers such as Takata, AGC Automotive, Borg Warner, Automatic Spring Products, and more that supply certain parts of the vehicles like the transmission system, seat components, airbags, windshields, and more, and you could work at those companies where you're still a part of the Honda design process without working at Honda. So although these aren't all small companies, you can see how there are plenty of employers out there you probably haven't heard of that are making things that will be part of the large projects we all want to work on. Some of the pros of small companies include more interesting technical work, especially when starting out. You'll have more responsibilities, which you might see as a pro or a con, and you'll get exposure to lots of different things and will probably learn a lot very quickly. They often don't have a lot of money to train you, so you just kind of dive into work. Next is your work is usually a bigger part of the entire picture rather than one small component. If you do a really good job, for example, it will be noticed. A smart decision you make could have a huge impact on the final product of something. Your success is just more visible. If you're one of those people who says, I want to make a difference at the company I'm at, then a smaller company might offer more of that potential feeling. There's also usually less structure and more flexibility. At big companies, they've been operating for maybe decades and they have a consistent corporate structure of how things get done. At a small company, you may have less paperwork and pointless meetings as an example. Then you might be more a part of a family because everyone knows each other. You might know by name the secretary all the way to the CEO. Assuming the economy is doing well, it's also harder to let people go who you become close with, plus you can haggle for increased pay or a promotion with more leverage since people know your worth and you'll be a larger part of the company. Then some of the cons include more hectic hours, sometimes without increased pay, because they only have so many people to get a project done and they don't have a huge budget. The pay can also be lower and the benefits package might not be as appealing. You won't have an abundant amount of resources and people to go to for help. There will be more volatility, so if the economy tanks, the company could be in big trouble, whereas huge companies can often ride it out. And lastly, if you want to change in your day-to-day -day duties, you'll probably have to find another company. I've talked to people and read stories of those who have worked at both a large and a small company and there really isn't one people always find way better than the other. It so often depends on you, the company, your coworkers, your responsibilities, etc. I've heard people say in the beginning small companies are a great way to go because you will dive into more of the technical work and gain hands-on experience much faster. But I've also heard people say they would much rather work at large companies because of how many resources there are and there's so much room to find out what you want to do. Now the things I listed will not be true at every company, but are some typical things you can expect based on people's experiences at both large and small companies over the course of their career. 
If you like this video, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.